Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm teaching you how to make this really cool all chocolate pinata. That's right, all chocolate pinata so you can impress all of your dinner guests. And for this you're going to need a silicone mold of your choice, a glass bowl to melt your chocolate in, and some candy melts. I did use two different brands because I wasn't sure what was going to work for me, which luckily they both did. And you're also going to need a silicone spatula. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab your candy melts and put them in the microwave 30 seconds at a time until they become nice and melted. Make sure not to overdo it so that you don't scorch your chocolate. And then you're going to pour it into the mold and you're going to spread that out. So I made sure I did nice even layers and I brought it up to the sides. The sides is probably the most important part because it's gonna be holding up our pinatas. So make sure that everything is fully covered. And you can do it in many, many layers, so don't worry if the first layer, if there's still silicone peeking out. So then you're gonna chill it in your refrigerator, not your freezer. And once it's nice and chilled, it should look like this. So then you grab some more chocolate, pour it in, and repeat the same process until you get a nice even coat on the bottom and the sides of your mold. So then you chill it one more time and do a layer for the sides. And don't be afraid to move it around because once it's chilled, it's pretty sturdy. So now once you have the layers all set, you're going to peel the silicone mold off very, very slowly, making sure that you don't crack your chocolate. And just make sure that you try not to touch chocolate too much so you don't leave any finger marks. So I actually made two of these, one for the front and one for the back. And then I filled one side with all of my candies. Now with some fondant, this part is optional, I just colored some fondant with some pink food coloring from AmeriColor. And I just kneaded out until it became that pretty pink color. So once I was happy with the color that I got, I did roll out a few balls of fondant and stick them directly into the crevices of the chocolate. You don't have to worry about adding anything to the chocolate for it to stick because once the chocolate starts to warm up, the fondant automatically sticks to it. And you want to make sure that the areas that are really small and defined that you're using small bits of fondant so that you can keep all of the details in the chocolate. So just make sure that you take your time and use some tools if you need to just to make sure that it is defined. So now with a paintbrush with a little bit of water, I just pressed in some pieces of chocolate just to give it a little pop of color and make it a little bit more interesting. And then with some pure lemon extract and some highlighter gold, I did start to paint on the rest of the details with gold. And for this, I didn't show it on camera, but basically you're just gonna do um, a few drops of the lemon extract and then the highlighter gold. And what you want is not a watery consistency, but not a dry consistency either. Just enough to where it'll look a little bit like paint and it makes it really, really easy to paint on. Another option that you have is using melted chocolate in different colors, but to me that was a little bit messier, so I liked this method better. And I also went ahead and used that same gold and added it to the pastel candy just to tie everything together. For the stand itself, I did grab a piece of cardboard that I just cut out from a regular box, and then I fed a piece of string through it. And with the pieces that were left in the bottom, I just tied that made sure it was very very secure and then added a bit of tape and glue because you can't be too safe and this is actually going to go in the bottom part of the pinata so what you're going to do is you're going to grab a little bit of melted chocolate and you're going to secure that to the bottom you're going to make sure that your string is right in the middle and then you're going to add a layer of chocolate right around the rim and be very very generous with this because this is what's going to keep the pinata together so now you're gonna add your top layer and make sure that it's completely aligned, and then you're gonna go ahead and chill that. 
once it's chilled, it should be nice and secure and ready to enjoy. And that's it guys, that simple. If you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to my channel for more DIYs. Thank you so much for watching.